squirmy worms, slugs and snails and lie there in a glue. They'll wait down there forever till they get their hands on you. Stay away from that trap dog. Cause there's something down there. <laughs> Well, do you have money? No. Money? Yeah, you wait for you. Like, we are not. We're not. We're not. We're not. in a minute, boys. Hey, Busy. You all psyched up for the trip? My dad is. He wants the bus to run over my drum. <laughs> Later. Later, Busy. What are you doing here? You're not in the band. I am now. Okay, people, let's get organized. Remember, this is our first out-of-town trip for our first real concert. Keep me happy moving along now, please. No horse play on the bus! So, Justin, Chrissy was giving you some pretty sweet looks today. Studs. <laughs> Justin, will you help me with my bag? Sure. Oh, Justin. <laughs> Is uh, that seat taken? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sort of. I love it when you talk like that. Oh, man. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to make do then. Nice dress she's almost wearing. So, is tonight the big night? Can you tell us anything? Sure, like I'd let you know. Come on, guys, lay off. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it, Justin. Hmm? Yeah, Justin, she'll handle it. Woohoo! Just run away! Yeah! Seen. So, I guess it looks like. Justin and Chrissy are back together again. Do you think you're obsessed with Justin? Okay, people. Hollywood, here we come. <laughs> Rooms have been assigned. Girls on one side of the building, boys on the other. I don't want any complaints about who's in what room with whom. No leaving the rooms after curfew, which begins at exactly 1900 hours. Miss Edwards and I will be patrolling the halls, which mean we may appear without warning. Is that clear? Tonight's your chance. Hey, Troy, give me a word that rhymes with chance. What? For Justin's poem to Chrissy, I need a rhyme. Guys, I'm not kidding. No poem. Oh, man, what stinks? Ugh. These things stink. No, man, they're brand new. Come yeah, on. these things are going in the toilet. No! no. Say bye-bye, sneakers! My mother just got the glut! I was bigger than you. I beat you up, you know. Troy, tonight's your chance. You're the poet, man. Romance. That's it. Tonight's your chance for major 
Well, man. Give it a rest, guys. Nothing's gonna happen tonight. So, like, what'd you do with my sneakers, huh? I only got one pair. Here, Monk, go deliver this. Very funny. Give me the note, Monk. Oh, sure thing, Just. Come and get it. You go deliver that letter now, monkey butt, or you won't live to see the morning. Give me the note, monk. Now. I'm out of here. Give me that. Something great. Don't be late. Oh, my God. He's taking you out for dinner in the dining room. Maybe he needs a coffee shop. Okay, you guys. No sixth graders allowed on senior territory. Listen to this. Tonight's the chance for a major romance. I can't believe she's risking this. Hey, you're not allowed out of the room, you know. When I need your advice, I'll ask for it. Well, if it's going to be dinner, I guess I'd better dress up. Yes or no? I don't know. But if Boyle finds out, he might be hurt. Nah, oh, man. Boyle will be sleeping by 10. Besides, tonight's the night. Live dangerously. Well, what do you think? Just in a light. I don't stand a chance next to that. I kind of, uh, <laughs> borrowed it from my mom. <laughs> so shit, sure, try it on. So bare. There's no place for her butt to go. I think that's the point. Hi, Jess. Hi. Wow, you look nice. Thanks. Um, you ready? Yeah, sure. So, uh, we're going to the coffee shop, right? Uh, uh um... Quick, here. Um, so, um, what do you think they're doing by now? Justin will be really cool. He'll talk her into anything. Anything? What do you mean, anything? By now? All of it. All of it? Really? You think so? Maybe just part of it. What part? Part of what? Whatever part you never did before. <laughs> I think there's a knot in my back. Sorry. Justin, shh. Uh, I'm sorry about the dinner mix-up. I have, I have gum, if you want to share it. Okay, sure. I bet by now Justin's asking her to dance. A slow dance. Something really beautiful. Oh, wow, this is so amazing. I bet you he's looking deep into her eyes. Jen. Chrissy. Um, I was sort of thinking, well, what? Everyone was thinking that we're gonna, you know, do it. To what? You know, it. It? You mean go all the way? Well, not all the way, but like, more than kissing. <laughs> what do you mean, more than kissing? You know. Touching? You mean touching? Or just looking? Which one? I don't know. Both. Well, I won't do both. 
pick one. Okay, how about touching? How about looking? Well, I kind of like the touching idea. Well, okay. But watch it and don't go too far. I'll, I'll be very careful. You don't have to be that careful. I just wasn't sure. We could kiss, you know, just to start out. Okay, sure. What? Christy used all the towels and they're soaking wet. <sighs> okay, fine. Just a sec. I'll get you one. Uh, sorry. Excuse me. I'm, I'm really sorry. I just wanted to get a towel. Um... Yeah, I'll be, I'll be two seconds. Sorry, it won't happen again. Bye. Did you get my towels? I'm soaking wet. Thanks. What is it? Chrissy and Justin. In the maid's closet. What? Gross. What are they doing? Well, how hot and heavy was it? Pretty hot. <laughs> it's boil. Has two. Where is he? He must be scoring big time. What do you think? Second base? At least, man. Ouch, second base. That's skin to skin. Grow up, Dolt. First is skin to skin. So if first is skin to skin, then what second? Second's probably skin to cloth. That'd be going backwards, Bonehead. So, if second is skin to skin, and home is, well, you know. What? What? You don't know? Well, yeah, I know. It's just, to picture it, it just kind of seems really... If you think of it like that, then it leaves a lot for third, doesn't it? Well, yeah. That's why Justin's late. Takes a long time. Rise and shine. Everybody up. Oh my God. Bus leaves in half an hour. Oh my god, you're all ready to go. What? What? I fell asleep, okay? Yeah, right. We know all about it, Chrissy. Come on, Amanda. How was dinner? <laughs> Amanda saw them doing it right there in the broom closet. Right, Amanda? Well, yeah. I, I did. But it was... Wow. Man, Justin is such a stud. Okay, 
you got my uniform? Uh, yeah. You know, busy. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but for sure something was going on. Well, whatever was going on, it doesn't surprise me. I knew she was fast, baby. <laughs> Hey, Stalios. You really did it, man. Oh, man. Ah, maybe she wasn't that great. I must be wise not talking about it. Listen, I told you before, and I'm going to tell you again. Nothing happened. So you're serious? You spent the entire night in a closet with Chrissy Fraser, and you didn't get anywhere with it. Well, I can't honestly, truly say that nothing happened. Yeah. Here she is, guys. Come and get it. Chrissy in the closet. <laughs> Just what did you tell them? I, I mean, they knew already. Don't try to cover up Slee's bucket. You were gone all night. Amanda Zim saw the whole thing. Thanks a lot, Zim. Hi. Fuck her up, Emery! For our next number, we'd like to speed back through the years to our favorite decade, the 70s, and our favorite songbirds. Nice dress, slut. Give it up, monkey face. What? I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. Not accepted. I really mean it, Chrissy. I'm not sure what happened. But I feel that it's partly my fault for starting it. And, well, I guess for not stopping it. We didn't do anything but kiss. I should have kept my mouth shut. But when I opened up the closet, I, I just wanted to get a towel. That's all. You scared me. And I didn't really know what you were doing. And I guess I was a little bit jealous, OK? <laughs> it's not OK. Well, you've been pretty mean to me. <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't give you the right to 
spread vicious rumors about me. I mean, people expect all this stuff from me. You know, because of how I look and all. It's just like I have to go along with it. I mean, you're so lucky you can just be yourself. What's so great about being me? Well, nobody expects anything bad from you. You're smart, nice, innocent, and flat. Well, thanks. But who would want to drag me into a closet? I'd still much rather be like you. I swear, Amanda, nothing happened. What you saw was it. We didn't mean to stay out all night, but we couldn't get past Boyle. And now, suddenly, I'm a big sleaze. And Justin's some big hero. It's totally unfair. You said it. It sucks. Big time. Michael, I'm not going to tell you again. Get on the bus this instant! I got it, guys. Chrissy in the can. You see this. Michael, you've kept the entire bus waiting. A 500-word essay pins on my desk Monday morning, tight. Tight? Oh, come on. Welcome, ladies. Everyone present and accounted for? Good, let's go. What? That's it? Why aren't you yelling at them for being late? You sent it to me to typing for the same thing. Michael, the girls were late for a reason. I don't get this. That's so unfair. I was late and they were late. What's the difference? Why should a guy be treated differently than a girl? Guys are always treated differently than girls. Aren't they, Justin? I mean, a guy does something, and everybody thinks he's great. A girl does the same thing, and everybody thinks she's a sleaze. Did you get much sleep last night? Shut up, Pete! Thank <laughs> you.